Somebody say that they are dying of food. Okay. First, I just want to welcome Shawnee Mayer. She's from Beaver's Lovely State in um, Durban. She's so proud to the tasting for us tonight, and the company is actually going to make all the wine. So, okay, enjoy. Um, what we're going to do, this is it. we said it's going to be informal tasting, so we're going to do the two whites. Um, you had the, the um, sparkling wine already. We're going to do the Sauvignon blend, and then afterwards, we're going to do the unwooded Chardonnay. Then everybody's going to load their plates with food and we're going to start eating and then we're going to do the red wines after that. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Shanae? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Mario, for this opportunity. It's lovely to be here in your beautiful town. Um, myself and um, Louise, she's with Meridian Wines. We enjoyed a glass of wine while looking at the ocean today and I just decided, you know what? This is definitely a place you have to come to for a holiday because definitely stuff is happening on this side. Yeah. Okay. All right, so as we all said, I'm from Dumasol Wine Estate in um, in Durbanville. It's a it's a wine farm which is might be well known to some of you guys or to the rest of you maybe not so much. And I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to showcase my wines here tonight. Um, Yes, Shanae Mayer, that's me. I've been in the wine industry for almost about 10 years now. I'm really enjoying it so much. At Dinner Star, I'm part of the marketing and sales team. And I've joined the team last year in, in January. Um, just more about the farm. The farm was established in 1698 by, um, well, Simon Kondersal the farm to the, the Snewman family. Um, Several years, years passed, and uh, the husband unfortunately passed away, and his widow remarried to a guy called Captain Dimash. From uh -huh. there, <laughs> yes, Dimash was located in a little valley or dal, as you would call it in Afrikaans, and so Dimash was established. Uh, since then, in 1885, um, the owners, the current owners, the Lowe's, they took over the farm. And yes, the current winemaker, Taste Lowe, is the sixth generation of Lowe's practicing um, the art of making fine wine at Dimmerstall Wine Estate. All right. Um, so the first wine I'm starting off with this evening is the Sauvignon Blanc. We mainly focus on Sauvignon Blanc and part of, um, part of our, our whole range, we've got at least, I think it's about eight different Sauvignon Blancs. Um, the first one you had is the, the Sparkling which is a barrel fermented three months, or sorry, bottle fermented three months sparkling Sauvignon Blanc. Um, the reason why we did that so short is to keep that true Sauvignon Blanc characteristics, those tropical fruit flavors, a um, bit of that kiwi coming through and also those hints of gooseberry. Um, what you're having now is the, the current vintage 2015. Uh, this year we had the earliest harvest in the last 10 years and um, Yes, we harvested two weeks earlier, we bottled and released the wine at the end of February, which was record-breaking for us. Um, with this wine, you'll pick up those tropical fruit flavors coming through. It's got this beautiful um, acidity um, on the palate, on the nose. Once again, um, gooseberry, kiwi coming through, some green apple. Um, yes, color, clear and crisp, uh, beautiful, balanced acidity. Very refreshing wine. Right. So Very yeah. easy drinking, great for seafood, great for just enjoying it by the glass. Um, nothing too complicated about this wine. Straightforward, durable story of that. The farm also, um, it's quite a large farm. It's about uh, 340 hectares. About 180 is covered under vines. The rest is grazing lands, as we have some sheep on the farm, some cows, pigs, turkeys. Chickens, we, we like doing the whole farming thing there in Durbanville. Um, but main focus being Sauvignon Blanc. Um, the split up between the, um, the whites and the reds, about 60% uh, white wine and 40% red wine, which we, which we're doing on the farm. Uh, largely Sauvignon Blanc. It is largely Sauvignon Blanc, however, we also do some Chardonnay, which we'll be tasting after this. Um, we do a wooded and an unwooded. And then we also um, planted about seven years ago, we planted Bruno Van Cleaner, which is an Austrian grape variety, and we're the only wine farm in South Africa to produce that wine. Uh, this year we've had our third vintage, and yes, luckily enough we came up with about 12,000 bottles, so yes, very happy about that. But largely, it's for your blood. 
I share them back on the form a little bit of semi on, but yes. So we will back right there. Any other questions, Pat? What reds have you got? On the red side, we have some some Merno, Pinotage, um, Shiraz, Cab Sav, um, Cabinet Front, um, Pitty Bido, Malbec, and yes, that's about it. <laughs> Quite a variety. Um, on the red side, um, oh and no, I forgot, uh, Grenache as well. Um, on the red varieties, tonight we'll be doing um, the Matez, which is an entry level um, red um, red name. Cab Merlot, um, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Merlot. And the Merlot and the Pinotage. We also have some fresh vines, Pinotage on the farm. Um, the Grenache. And yeah, we also do a Rhone blend. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, or Doble, which is all five varieties <laughs> Berlo, Cabernet Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, and Petit Bordeaux. Right. Good. Guys, can have a taste. What do you guys think? Is it very good? 18. 18 out of 20. That's not bad, thank you. <laughs> Any other schools back in the school? I'm your lovely food. I'm just like finding myself and the food is amazing. Um, the Chardonnay, it's on wooden Chardonnay, also 2015 vintage. Um, with the Chardonnay, you'll definitely pick up a bit more of those um, peach aroma, some apple coming through, some sweet melon. It's a really subtle wine. The acidity is much more low comparing it to the um, Sauvignon Blanc. And, um, it's a very also accessible wine. I know a lot of people struggle with Chardonnay because they all got this mindset that it's wooded and it's all this overpowering oaky flavors that's coming through. Where this one's much, much more subtle, much more easy drinking, and I think very easy to um, to consume as such. Um, as I said earlier, we also have a Chardonnay Reserve, which is a more oaky one. That one goes into French oak for about 10 months. With that wine, you get a bit more of those citrus flavors coming through, those hints of vanilla, slight hints of toasty butterness, but nothing too overwhelming. The Chardonnay is a great wine for your Thai food, spicy, Catalan food, or even your seafood. All right. Any feedback on the Chardonnay? Yeah. Do everyone drink Chardonnay? Do we have Chardonnay fans in the house or not really? There we go. I like two Chardonnay with me. So most people are taking it in Sobe or Blanc. I like it. Okay. And good is an exception. Very good. The one you'll be tasting now is called the Dumasdal Matei's Cab Merlot. It's a blend of 75% Merlot and 25% Cab and 25% Merlot. This wine was aged for 12 months. Um, how we aged it was separately, um, the Cab and the Merlot, but also in stainless steel tanks and then a small portion going into um, barrels, French oak barrels. We use much more older barrels. Um, which is about three to four years old. The, um, in the stainless steel tanks, what we do is we take bags, like an a, a orange bag and a moonsa, and with that, we've got chip that's in there, which, which is also toasted. We buy it like that, and that basically flavors your wines up a bit. So with this wine, um, it's, it's quite fruity. You get those ripe plum flavors coming through, but then also some hints of cloves. So it's also got a bit of spice coming through. It's a very easy drinking wine, nothing too complicated once again. This is my Saturday night bride wine. Um, and whenever I friends over, it's something consistent that you can just take out and easily enjoy. All right. Very good. Yes, very light to medium body, um, but yes, definitely we, we take, um, as you say, the best crop that comes in, the first round of wine goes into, for instance, the private collection or so, the lesser will go into the mud taste. Think of your prices. 46 no, 46 of the bottle, not too bad. Next wine, 
um, I've got the, the Merlot 2014 for you guys. Um, this is now a bit more serious wine, it's the state wine, so the wine comes, or the grapes comes from the farm. Um, with this wine, once again, on the nose, you get those, those red fruit flavors coming through. You even get a bit of an hint of some, um, some cassie, some, some chocolate flavors. So it's, a, it's much more of a warming wine, I would say. Uh, the Merlot also on the palate, it's, it's definitely a, a ladies wine, <laughs> very subtle, very smooth, very elegant, um, definitely a wine that's it's not too heavy, it doesn't have that, that prominent tannin structure, but it's, it's, it's got a good mouthfeel to it. This wine you can easily age for another four to five years, but it's ready to enjoy now. We aged it um, in French oak barrels um, for about 12 months using um, about 70% um, second and third fall and only about 30% going into first fall. So taking away those, those harsh tannins that second and third fall just softens the wine up so much more. Um, this wine easily enjoyed with a nice homemade um, chicken pie or nice stew. Um, it's a very hearty wine so definitely those dishes would definitely come Accompanied. Right. Any questions? Uh, what did anyone? How, what was the taste? Yeah. What taste? Okay. What did you explain the second third? Excuse me, sir. When did you explain the second third? The first fall. Okay. So, um, first fall meaning the first time that you're filling um, a barrel. Second fall, second time you're filling the barrel, third fall, third time you're filling that barrel. And the barrel, one year? Barrel um, doesn't really come with no, a vintage. The first fall. First fall, you get, um, yeah, 12 months, but only 30% of the wine goes into. Do you then take the tart rate right off? The tart um, Yes, we do use the barrels again. Sure. Most but you clean it first. Yeah, no, definitely. We do clean the barrels every year. But it's a barrel. If it's a murder barrel, it will remain a murder barrel or the remainder on the farm. A uh, barrel's lifetime on a wine farm is anything from uh, four to six years. And um, yeah, barrel these days will put you back about 5,000 Rand a barrel. <laughs> yes, barrel How many liters of wine in a barrel? get those red fruit flavors coming from those. It's got that beautiful deathly color, that beautiful elegant purple that comes through. The wine also gives you a bit more of a, a toffee chocolate feel once again, but it, it sticks true to those straightforward classic pinotage and just that forward fruit flavors on the nose. On the palate, you get a bit of a tannin structure coming through, nothing too serious, um, beautifully um, elegantly structured and it's just it just goes, it just rolled down and it's got that lingering aftertaste which one definitely needs in any good red wine. This wine once again aged for 12 months in French oak barrels and with this one using also 70% second and third fall and 30% new full French oak. Right. Great wine to pair with um, with venison, a rump steak, a gourmet burger, a bubwiti, anything straightforward. <laughs> right. Any comments on pinotage? How was the Merlot? How was the Merlot? Very nice. Pinotage. Pinotage. Are you enjoying the pinotage? Love it. Better than enjoy it. Love it. Okay.
Thank you guys. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>